what is up it's almost 6 a.m and i do have a master class it is a paid master class which is in approximately 90 minutes uh, it's uh, from a lady who actually got uh, o1 by eb1 visa you know it's a resident visa if i'm not mistaken in us so you know one of my friend actually recommended me so about this she's going to like share the playbook on how she actually got the resident visa so it's interesting to see i mean as i mentioned i don't want to completely move but if there is a chance i could stay longer and you know be for their uh, business purpose i would love to because my long-term goals do align that overall you know i would like to create a private equity firm in you know, an acquisition company capital raising a huge network and you know raising money and investing in big companies and mergers and acquisitions is you know the future in my opinion coming back we actually interviewed or i would say i i had a call uh, with uh, so many more operators and people who actually sell sops or you know come in and build systems and operators operations and all that stuff now i actually like this product it's called outsource school i haven't pulled the trigger yet but i actually had a call with the founder himself uh, his name is Nathan. I actually booked him for my podcast as well. He was kind enough to spend some time with me on a quick call. And uh, you know, he actually built a company from ground zero with VAs and SOPs. He scaled this company to $12 million in revenue. And he sold this company as well for an undisclosed huge exit. And uh, he's basically like unlimited money that's what he has but uh, you know he created what what he ha how he has done his business he created that into a program and he's giving away in outsource school at least that's what he mentioned and uh, we are buying into it technically and i'm excited for it so it ha it comes with like sops how to hire how to fire all of those documentations and uh, you know, uh, that's one of the things which I'm struggling with because I'm an artist. I'm not an operations guy. I'm trying to be better at that overall. So that's pretty much it for now. Uh, we'll get that and uh, finish interviewing Christopher Voss. Got a bunch of stuff done. And remaining stuff, as I mentioned, is outsource school and the O1B meeting, which will happen soon. And I'm hungry and I need to eat something. So that's it for now. Bye-bye. Hey guys, what's up? It's 17th of November and 8.50 p.m. I have a call in 10 more minutes and I'll be jumping on that. Then I have... Bunch of more stuff which needs to be done. Regular stuff, client meetings, team meetings, hiring calls, you know, and strategy overall. That's pretty much it as of now. And yesterday, I was like actually exhausted after listening to that masterclass. Uh, I mean, you know, getting an O1 visa or EB1. Oh my God, it just sounded too far away uh, overall. Once I actually you know jumped on the masterclass, uh, you know, it was a paid masterclass. There were like 130 people or something everybody was in the us as an f1 student or you know h1b student or something like that they are already in the us or l1 visa if i'm not mistaken they are trying to get into a much better visa category which is o1 but i was like the only one who is from india who is trying to like go to the us so it didn't really felt aligned and uh, yeah trust me like becoming a terrorist is much easier than you know getting a o1 us visa that's what i understood overall yesterday there are like eight pillars you know they qualify you you know it's just like oh my god yeah you know you need a lawyer you know you need to spend you know 20 fifty thousand dollars i don't know whatever it is it's just crazy i mean there is no huge upside for me as well but at the same time i you know um wanted to kind of compromise a little bit you know i would rather get a b1 b2 visa and travel for a few weeks or months and then come back then settling in us transparently but at the same time there is another part of me which says you know it is a better land of opportunity but i see a lot of my clients you know my people who i know moving away from us because of tax culture you know and uh, you know crazy uh, you know school education gun culture and a lot of other things you know the lgbtq stuff it's it's crazy in what's going on in america so yeah so i see a lot of people moving out i mean it's a land of opportunity maybe it used to be i don't know uh you know it it wasn't because like right now even if i go to us i still need to be working with my team virtually anyway which i'm already doing i have employees from us canada you know multiple other asian countries even european countries so it's yeah i'm not sure so you know that just gave me a realization that i don't need to hurry to go to us let me just go to some international tours and you know get my b1b2 sorted that's pretty much the goal that's it for now and to jump on because there is only one more minute to jump on bye bye what is up so delegated bunch of calls and our tech coaching call is already running and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for now and uh, 
we are going to another horror movie right now and i'll keep you guys posted hi guys <laughs> what's up back to desk i have a call scheduled at 3:30 am and uh, between that i need to get bunch of stuff done and uh, yeah that's pretty much it for now so just finished bunch of calls and tasks required and uh, yeah i was back to back on bunch of calls and my throat is almost gone so i need to take some rest and uh, yeah pretty much wrapped up the tasks for week tomorrow we'll have some team meeting and a bunch of other tasks for saturday and uh, yeah that's it for now need to shoot some content this weekend bye guys so it's almost 8 am right now and uh, got a lot of stuff done kind of hungry at the same time and uh, you know i had like a I would say like a big shake overall. Uh, you know, it was like banana and milk blended with oats and protein powder and stuff like that. With peanut butter overall. You know, yeah, it wasn't as tasty as I imagined it would be. Uh, okay, coming back. Yeah, I'm thinking about increasing the calorie intake and um, you know, kind of working out more frequently. Like my workouts are maybe like four or five. you know four days maybe every week or sometimes three uh, i would like to take it to four or five at least five would be like the actual aim and uh, yeah that's pretty much it got a lot more stuff done you know need to send like you know last week emails uh, kind of thing with clients team and uh, you know overall few hires which i need to do that's pretty much it for now checking with some contractors as well so yeah that's it as of now uh, Hopefully we will go live with our content game from this Monday. I'll keep you guys posted. Bye bye. That's it for today. Once again, this is me, the Nikhil Sai, nineteen-year-old broke dropout, turned millionaire, and running my own marketing agency. I'm just showing behind the scenes on what I'm going through on a day-to-day -day basis on Zero to Zillion channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. Consider like, share, subscribe, and comment, and watch more of my vlogs on Zero to Zillion. This is me, the Nikhil Sai. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.